Item number SCP-2317. Object Class Special Containment Procedures SCP-2317 is to be secured at Containment Area 179 in a reinforced 3m by 3m by 3m containment chamber. Armed guards are to be in place at all times in order to prevent unauthorized access to the facility. Description. SCP-2317 is a wooden door and frame originally constructed as a basement door for a 19th century Massachusetts brownstone. Upon opening the door, any person stepping through the door frame will be transported to an alternate reality. Further information on SCP-2317 is classified Level 1, Restricted, or Higher. Insufficient security clearance. Item number SCP-2317 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP-2317 is to be secured at Containment Area 179 in a reinforced 3m by 3m by 3m containment chamber. Armed guards are to be in place at all times in order to prevent unauthorized access to the facility. All personnel assigned to SCP-2317 must rotate out for one month of psychological counseling after two months on site. Personnel assigned to SCP-2317 must undergo heavy psychological testing before being cleared to enter the site. Individuals must score at least 72 points on the Milgram Obedience Examination, be unmarried, have no offspring, and express nothing less than total loyalty to the Foundation. While on site, Individuals assigned to SCP-2317 will be issued concealing helmets with integrated voice changer to protect their identity. On-site staff are not to remove said uniforms in the presence of other staff members. Off-duty hours are to be spent in private quarters alone. A Class D personnel with a background as a convicted murderer is to be assigned to SCP-2317 each month for the purposes of carrying out Procedure 220 Calabasas. During Procedure 220 Calabasas, at least one Security Clearance 3-2317 staff member must monitor the procedure by camera at all times. Following the procedure, all Class D personnel must return to their holding cells or explosive collars will be detonated. Description. SCP-2317 is a wooden door and frame originally constructed as a basement door for a 19th century Massachusetts brownstone. Upon opening the door, any person stepping through the door frame will be transported to an alternate reality. Further information on SCP-2317 is classified Level 2, Restricted, or Higher. Insufficient security clearance. Item number SCP-2317 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP-2317 is to be secured at Containment Area 179 in a reinforced 3m by 3m by 3m containment chamber. Armed guards are to be in place at all times in order to prevent unauthorized access to the facility. All personnel assigned to SCP-2317 
must rotate out for one month of psychological counseling after two months on site. Personnel assigned to SCP-2317 must undergo heavy psychological testing before being cleared to enter the site. Individuals must score at least 72 points on the Milgram Obedience Examination, be unmarried, have no offspring, and express nothing less than total loyalty to the Foundation. While on site, individuals assigned to SCP-2317 will be issued concealing helmets with integrated voice changers to protect their identity. On-site staff are not to remove said uniforms in the presence of other staff members. Off-duty hours are to be spent in private quarters alone. A Class D with a background as a convicted murderer is to be assigned to SCP-2317 each month for the purposes of carrying out Procedure 220 Calabasas. During Procedure 220 Calabasas, at least one Security Clearance 3-2317 staff member must monitor the procedure at all times. Following the procedure, all Class D personnel must return to their holding cells or explosive collars will be detonated. SCP-2317 is a wooden door and frame originally constructed as a basement door for a 19th century Massachusetts brownstone. Upon opening the door, any person stepping through the door frame will be transported to an alternate reality. Exploration of the alternate reality SCP-2317 Prime is limited, but the area directly accessible through SCP-2317 is a salt pan several kilometers in radius. A circle of seven pillars, SCP-2317-A through SCP-2317-G, are positioned in a 10-meter diameter circle approximately 10 meters directly in front of SCP-2317. Each pillar is approximately 1 meter in diameter, and 7 meters tall, constructed of marble and engraved with a series of intricate bas-reliefs. The art style of the engravings do not correspond to that of any known modern, historic, or prehistoric civilization. Addendum 1 Procedure 220 Calabasas Procedure 220 Calabasas is a ritual to be performed at solar noon each day, defined as the moment when the sun reaches its height over SCP-2317. Performing Procedure 220 Calabasas requires the following. Data expunged per order of 05-on Information moved to Ice Only Document 2317-220 Calabasas. Access to 2317-220 Calabasas is limited to personnel with security clearance 3 2317 or higher. Failure at any point to properly perform Procedure 220 Calabasas may result in a XK Class End of the World scenario. Should any mishap or failure occur, all personnel are to return immediately through SCP-2317 closing the door behind them. The containment chamber will be immediately locked down, and a Level 2 emergency declared and reported to the O5 Council. Further instructions will be provided to on-site personnel according to Emergency Order Zachariah. Item number SCP-2317 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP-2317 is to be secured in Containment Area 179 in a reinforced 3m by 3m by 3m containment chamber. Armed guards are to be in place at all times in order to prevent unauthorized access to the facility. All personnel assigned to SCP-2317 must rotate out for one month of psychological counseling after two months on site. Personnel assigned to SCP-2317 must undergo heavy psychological testing before being cleared to enter the site. Individuals must score at least 72 points in the Milgram Obedience Examination, be unmarried, have no offspring, and express nothing less than total loyalty to the Foundation. While on site, 
Individuals assigned to SCP-2317 will be issued concealing helmets with integrated voice changers to protect their identity. On-site staff are not to remove said uniforms in the presence of other staff members. Off-duty hours are to be spent in private quarters alone. A Class D personnel with a background as a convicted murderer is to be assigned to SCP-2317 each month for the purposes of carrying out Procedure 220 Calabasas. During Procedure 220 Calabasas, at least one staff member with Security Clearance 3 2317 must monitor the procedure at all times. Following the procedure, all Class D personnel must return to their holding cells or explosive collars will be detonated. Prior paragraph revised as follows One staff member with Security Clearance 4 2317 will be assigned each month as Class D personnel in order to act as assistant to the primary celebrant. Personnel without security clearance of Level 3 or higher will be told that the assistant is a Class D personnel chosen from the normal pool of Class D candidates. All persons directly involved with Procedure 220 Calabasas are to be informed of this fact. No personnel shall be authorized to assist with Procedure 220 Calabasas without first being clearly briefed that the assistant is not, in fact, a Class D personnel, and should not be terminated in the event that they disobey direct orders from the guards. Description: SCP-2317 is a wooden door and frame originally constructed as a basement door for a 19th century Massachusetts brownstone. Upon opening the door, any person stepping through the door frame will be transported to an alternate reality. Exploration of the alternate reality SCP-2317 Prime is limited, but the area directly accessible through SCP-2317 is a salt pan several kilometers in radius. A circle of seven pillars, SCP-2317-A through SCP-2317-G, are positioned in a 10-meter diameter circle, approximately 10 meters directly in front of SCP-2317. Each pillar is approximately 1 meter in diameter, and 7 meters tall, constructed of marble and engraved with a series of intricate bas reliefs. The art style of the engravings do not correspond to that of any known modern, historic, or prehistoric civilization. Addendum 1 Procedure 220 Calabasas Procedure 220 Calabasas is a ritual to be performed at solar noon each day, defined as the moment when the sun reaches its height over SCP-2317. Performing Procedure 220 Calabasas requires the following. Two armed Foundation Security personnel with security clearance of Level 3 or higher, hereafter referred to as guards. One Foundation personnel with security clearance of Level 4, hereafter referred to as celebrant. One Class D personnel, as specified under Special Containment Procedures, hereafter referred to as Assistant. One Obsidian Edged Knife, hereafter referred to as Blade. One Silver Aspergillum and Aspersorium, filled with at least 500 cc of holy water, blessed by a priest of Abrahamic faith. One Celebrant, Guards, and Assistant open SCP-2317, step through and enter SCP-2317 Prime. Assistant will enter first, followed by guards, followed by celebrant. Guards will, at all times, maintain situational awareness of assistant, and should be prepared to prevent escape with deadly force. 2. Beginning with the pillar closest to and in line with SCP-2317 SCP Celebrant circumambulates SCP-2317-A through SCP-2317-G proceeding counterclockwise at an even and measured pace. At every other step, Celebrant will scatter holy water, using the Aspergillum and Aspersorium, in the direction of the circle's center. 3. Upon completing one circumambulation of SCP-2317-A through G, Celebrant scatters holy water over the head of the assistant and recites the following phrase. Four. Five. Assistant then circumambulates SCP-2317 A through G in a clockwise direction, scattering the mixture of blood and holy water in the direction of the circle center. Six. Upon completing one circumambulation of SCP-2317 A through G, assistant walks to the center of the circle of stones and pours the remaining mixture of blood and water onto the discolored patch of salt and sand in the center while reciting the following phrase. 
7. All materials are gathered up. The obsidian knife is secured, and all personnel return through SCP-2317, which is subsequently closed. Failure at any point to properly perform Procedure 220 Calabasas may result in an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario. Should any mishap or failure occur, all personnel are to return immediately through SCP-2317, closing the door behind them. The containment chamber will be immediately locked down, and a Level 2 emergency declared and reported to the O5 Council. Further instructions will be provided to on-site personnel, according to Emergency Order Zachariah. Further information on SCP-2317 is classified Level 4, Top Secret or Higher. Insufficient Security Clearance. Item number SCP-2317 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP-2317 is to be secured at Containment Area 179 in a reinforced 3m by 3m by 3m containment chamber. Armed guards are to be in place at all times, in order to prevent unauthorized access to the facility. All personnel assigned to SCP-2317 must rotate out for one month of psychological counseling after two months on site. Personnel assigned to SCP-2317 must undergo heavy psychological testing before being cleared to enter the site. Individuals must score at least 72 points on the Milgram Obedience Examination, be unmarried, have no offspring, and express nothing less than total loyalty to the Foundation. While on site, Individuals assigned to SCP-2317 will be issued concealing helmets with integrated voice changers to protect their identity. On-site staff are not to remove said uniforms in the presence of other staff members. Off-duty hours are to be spent in private quarters alone. One staff member with Security Clearance 4 2317 will be assigned each month as Class D personnel in order to act as assistant to the primary celebrant. Personnel without security clearance level 4 or higher will be told that the assistant is a Class D personnel chosen from the normal pool of Class D candidates. All persons directly involved with Procedure 220 Calabasas are to be informed of this fact. No personnel shall be authorized to assist with Procedure 220 Calabasas without first being clearly briefed that the assistant is not in fact a Class D personnel, and should not be terminated in the event that they disobey direct orders from the guards. Description: SCP-2317 is a wooden door and frame originally constructed as a basement door for a 19th century Massachusetts brownstone. Upon opening the door, any person stepping through the door frame will be transported to an alternate reality. Exploration of the alternate reality, SCP-2317 Prime, is limited, but the area directly accessible through SCP-2317 is a salt pan several kilometers in radius. A circle of seven pillars. SCP-2317-A through SCP-2317-G are positioned in a 10-meter diameter circle, approximately 10 meters directly in front of SCP-2317. Each pillar is approximately 1 meter in diameter and 7 meters tall, constructed of marble and engraved with a series of intricate bas reliefs. The art style of the engravings do not correspond to that of any known modern, historic, or prehistoric civilization. SCP-2317-A through G extend 200 meters below the surface of the sand and into SCP-2317-H. SCP-2317-H is a spherical space 100 km in diameter located directly underneath SCP-2317-A through G, lined with the same stone used to construct SCP-2317-A through G. 
contained within SCP-2317-H is SCP-2317-K, hereafter referred to as Entity. The following information has been inferred through seismic analysis and ground-penetrating radar, as well as direct observation. Entity appears to be an obese human-like creature of immense proportions, estimated height and fully erect is over 200 km. Horns resembling tree branches sprout from its head, which lacks a lower jaw. Entire body is covered in millions of overlapping plate-like scales. Seven heavy hooks are embedded into Entity's back, each one attached to a heavy steel chain connected to the lower end of one of the seven pillars embedded in the ceiling of the chamber. At the time of the writing of this document, six of the pillars or chains have been broken or damaged, and only one chain remains intact. Addendum 2317-1 Procedure 220 Calabasas Procedure 220 Calabasas is a ritual to be performed at solar noon each day, defined as the moment when the sun reaches its height over SCP-2317. Performing Procedure 220 Calabasas requires the following. Two armed Foundation security personnel with security clearance of level 3 or higher, hereafter referred to as guards. One Foundation personnel with security clearance of level 4, hereafter referred to as celebrant. One Class D personnel, as specified under special containment procedures, hereafter referred to as assistant. One live male Gallus Domesticus, preferably caged to prevent complications during transport to SCP-2317 Prime hereafter referred to as Chicken. One Obsidian-edged knife, hereafter referred to as Blade. One Silver Aspergillum and Aspersorium, filled with at least 500 cc of holy water, blessed by a priest of Abrahamic faith. One Celebrant, guards, and assistant open SCP-2317, step through and enter SCP-2317 Prime. Assistant will enter first, followed by guards, followed by Celebrant. Guards will at all times maintain situational awareness of assistance, and should be prepared to prevent escape with deadly force. Beginning with the pillar closest to and in line with SCP-2317, SCP-2317-A, Celebrant circumambulates SCP-2317-A through SCP-2317-G, proceeding counterclockwise at an even and measured pace. At every other step, Celebrant will scatter holy water using the Aspergillum and Aspersorium, in the direction of the circle's center. Upon completing one circumambulation of SCP-2317-A through G, Celebrant scatters holy water over the head of the assistant and recites the following phrase, Seven seals, seven rings, seven thrones for the Scarlet King. Celebrant then moves to a safe distance away from assistant, who will take the obsidian knife and use it to kill the chicken provided as sacrifice. Blood will be drained from the chicken and added to the aspersorium, then stirred to mix with the holy water already contained within. Assistant then circumambulates SCP-2317-A through G in a clockwise direction, scattering the mixture of blood and holy water in the direction of the circle's center. 6. Upon completing one circumambulation of SCP-2317-A through G, Assistant walks to the center of the circle of stones and pours the remaining mixture of blood and water onto the discolored patch of salt and sand in the center, while reciting the following phrase, Blood for the old gods, water for the new king. 7. All materials are gathered up, the obsidian knife is secured, and all personnel return through SCP-2317, which is subsequently closed. Failure at any point to properly perform Procedure 220 Calabasas may result in an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario. Should any mishap or failure occur, all personnel are to return immediately through SCP-2317, closing the door behind them. The containment chamber will be immediately locked down, and a Level 2 emergency declared and reported to the O5 Council. Further instructions will be provided to on-site personnel according to Emergency Order Zachariah, and may include detonation of on-site nuclear warhead. Addendum 2317-2 History SCP-2317 was first discovered in 1922 by Object was subsequently moved to what was then called Provisional Containment Area 17. Object was moved to Containment Area 179 in 1982, where it remains as of the writing of this article. When initially discovered, Four of the seven chains were broken, and three were intact. The breaking of the fifth chain in 
corresponded directly to a event in our world. The sixth chain, which broke in, was also coincident with a much more severe event, eventually resulting in the deaths of two million persons. Analysis of supplementary text retreated to the time of containment, pointed to Procedure 220 Calabasas as an effective means of maintaining containment until an effective means of repairing or reattaching said chains can be discovered. Containment procedures were modified to incorporate Procedure 220 Calabasas. As records showed, the sequence of events shows an exponential increase in lethality. It could be extrapolated that a failure of the final chain, SCP-2317-G, would result in an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario. For this reason, every possible effort is to be made to ensure a successful Procedure 220 Calabasas. Further information on SCP-2317 is restricted to the Overseer Council. Item number SCP-2317 Special Access Designation Code Nightmare Region Red Special Containment Procedures Irrelevant Description SCP-2317 is a primeval entity known as the Devourer of Worlds, name redacted intentionally. The Arrakesh Codex indicates that it was captured and imprisoned by Arrakeshian mystics circa 1894 BCE. An excerpt from the relevant passage follows, And then Keshpeth led his army of ten thousand into the realm beyond the clouds, and there did they do battle with the Devourer. May his name remain forever unremembered. And then Keshpeth and his ten thousand did craft seven cunning chains out of the bones of Jespetar, seventh bride of the dread Devourer. May his name remain forever unremembered and bound him within the pearl of the Father of Oysters, he who dwells under the mirror of salt in the realm under the sea. And Keshpeth ordered that the gates to the far country be sealed forever, lest the dread devourer, may his name remain forever unremembered, find its way back to our world. It is not clear how the 19th century society of the Golden Arrow discovered how to create a gate to universe Kappa Arrakesh, nor their reasons for doing so. What is clear is that the damage to the first four chains that bind the Devourer was accidental. By the time our Founder took possession of the item, following the dissolution of the Society, the organization had bankrupted itself several times over trying desperately to repair the damage caused. Projected Containment Profile Indications are that final containment failure will occur at some point within the next century as of the writing of this article. The mean time to failure being calculated at 30 years. All efforts to repair or replace the chains have failed. All efforts to rediscover the method for creating these chains have proven fruitless. Research is currently underway to determine an alternate containment plan, but the possibility that anything can keep the devourer from entering our universe is slim, especially as the original material used to create the chains, namely the bones and sinew of another devourer entity, are no longer in existence. The primary threat is internal despair or panic. In order to maintain morale, a false containment procedure, Procedure 220 Calabasas, will be authored and implemented. This false containment procedure has been given a sense of veracity by the following means. Incorporating elements of common ritualistic magics. Incorporating elements of popular religious rites. Incorporating elements of other known occult organizations. Incorporating elements of other known special containment procedures. Incorporating references to similar but unrelated occult entities. Increased information security regarding the elements of the procedure. Appealing to the common institutional meme of the effectiveness of thermonuclear weapons in destroying paranormal entities. 
although completely ineffectual, the purpose of Procedure 220 Calabasas is to provide the appearance of active containment in order to allay anxiety among staff until a more permanent solution can be found. In the meantime, preparations will be made in order to ensure the survival of the human race following containment failure. As most of the recommended preparations overlap with or are identical to preparations already underway in case of numerous other XK-class scenarios, minimal additional resources are required. Approved by the unanimous vote of the Overseer Council on